playing Destiny for the first time in 2020 and well the experience was indeed a long one. How's it going guys my name is DPJ and today I'll bring you another Destiny video. If you do enjoy it leaving a like really helps out and subscribe if you do want to see more. Also before we go any further for all your gaming needs no matter the platform you play on at amazing prices and incredible weekly deals check out G2A linked within the video description. So me like many of you at reset 6pm UK time don't know what time it is in any other country we are sitting there within the tower waiting for something crazy to happen and yes we waited an absolute while. Now I mean I won't lie to you guys it's been that long since I played Destiny 2. At first running around the tower I couldn't even remember how to get into my inventory and check my collections it was crazy. I mean I haven't actually played this game since last year I mean I've got to the title menu and just turned it off. Now over the past week or two I've been slowly getting back into the gist of things I've been slowly being hyped up around these new teasers they seem to be dropping. That new teaser trailer with Eris Mom was pretty cool. The one with the Drifter 2 was pretty cool. Me just being me trolling people on Twitter as per usual, making fun about these things but in reality I'm hyped as much as anybody else. I mean I'm not going to lie, I miss Destiny. When the time's right I will return, time could be right this next week, we don't know yet. But yeah seeing all these new references and what's actually going on in terms of lore, I've missed that much, I actually don't know what's going on. All I know is I've seen over the past week that's a massive ship and it's heading towards the tower or so I thought. So I had to see this first hand. I jumped on with a couple of pals, we sat there, at reset, half an hour passed, an hour passed, an hour and a half passed, two hours passed, here's me sitting away trolling on Twitter, trolling Bungie on Twitter, then all of a sudden we see bang, and the almighty comes flying towards us, and to be honest, when the event actually started going it was pretty cool, it's just a drawn out two and a half hours we had to wait, I mean it was drawn out like the previous seasons I won't lie, but yeah seeing the enormous ship taken down before our very eyes was actually pretty cool. Like I said it was just a drawn out time the two and a half hours we had to wait but hey good job on Bungie getting us hyped and getting the game number one trending on Twitter. They know exactly what they are doing and fair play it worked. It kind of reminded me of when Fortnite started well they just blanked off the season do you remember that and just had that little black hole on your screen that just got bigger and bigger do you remember that it was a couple of seasons back. That's how you get the community hyped. This although not on the same scale was a similar kind of thing, a similar kind of process and it worked, it even got me hyped and I haven't played this game in what 6 months. So yeah me not knowing really what's going on in game, not paying attention to anything they've dropped over the past 6 months, the law is just over my head right now, I will have to revise over the weekend and try and catch back up, watch a few buy videos as you do, because to be honest I'm struggling to think about anything I can tell you guys which you probably don't already know. I actually guarantee you guys know more about the game and what's going on right now than I do. But yes I know this was basically the finale of season 10 and the new season starts on Tuesday, next Tuesday which is the 9th I believe. And according to a few drops on Twitter I think it will be called the season of the arrival or visitors depending on where you look. Either way something's arriving, probably more microtransactions if I'm honest but I hope not. Also if you guys didn't know Anna Bray over on Mars has got a new bit of dialogue, two pages which you can see on screen now. People are talking about the reference to the stranger, the exo stranger who I've seen many many theories about over the past week coming back maybe but hey ho I mean that's just a little too deep for me to dive into right now so I have no idea what actually is going on behind the scenes but yeah for those that are interested Anna Bray, new dialogue see on screen now check it out. But yeah guys we experienced an in game live event today, an event lasted all of about 35 seconds after hours of waiting and for it you got an emblem. The emblem is unlocked by the way after you inspect the crash site near Savala. Emblem is pretty cool but it's just one of those for the collection. Now destiny wise going forward at the moment, at this moment in time I'm going to try slowly get back into it. I see those people on a daily basis wanting me to come back, I also see those people telling me to stick to borderlands. If you're one of those people please I will post what I like if you don't like it hit that unsub button and get out of here. I actually think the Destiny 2 community needs someone like me a content creator like me who just tells it how it is. Those days are coming back people. 
So I'm going to go ahead and jump off, revise some shit, so when season 11 comes, and if it's good, I might just jump back on and drop a couple of videos, see how it goes. Who wants some live PvP from the best PvP player ever? Chips and mother effing burger, bitches, you will see. But yeah guys, I'm kind of hyped, I won't lie. I mean, I have missed Destiny, I mean, I've been playing Borderlands for so long now, jumping on the game, it does feel kind of fresh. But hey, I mean, I haven't played anything PvE or PvP-wise in so long. I'm actually even missing public events to an extent. I miss that grind. And yes, Borderlands offers a grind, but it's a whole different grind on Destiny. But we'll see people, we will see. We'll see how Season 11 is. Hopefully it's as good as everyone's hyping it up to be. If not, you'll catch me at a full DLC, that full expansion, because we know that's going to be a major blow. But on that note, guys, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it and actually want to see me back and play more and post more Destiny 2, hit that like button. If you're new around here and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. Also, if you want to support me directly and become a member to my channel, click that join button. But again, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.